Hi everyone, Mike here. In last week's video, I covered conditional formatting in Excel on the iPad. And one of the things I showed was using conditional formatting to create a heat map. Well, Simon got in touch and asked if I could do a video on how to create a heat map using the desktop version of Excel. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. Before I show you how to create a heat map, I appreciate that there might be some people who don't know what I mean by heat map. Well, what I have here are numbers that represent the number of visitors to a store. I've got the opening hours of the store down column C, and I've got the days of the week on row three, and this is for one particular month. Now it's impossible to make sense of this data. It's just a mass of numbers. And I can't really create a bar chart or a pie chart or anything like that from this data because whatever I end up with probably wouldn't make sense. But what would make sense is something like this, where the reds represent the high numbers and the whites represent the low numbers and the greens and the the peachy colours represent the in-betweeny numbers. And this is an example of a heat map. So how do I convert this into this? I'll start by selecting all the cells with the numbers in. And then on the Home tab, click on Conditional Formatting, Colour Scales. And out of those 12 colour scales, I'm going to go for the one called Red White which is the one on the right hand side in the second row. And when I click it, it applies the conditional formatting to those cells where the high numbers in that range are in red and the low numbers are in white. Now I need to do a few things, obviously. The first thing I need to do is to change the conditional formatting uh, rule so that we get the greens in there. So I'll reselect those cells and go back to conditional formatting, but this time I want to edit what I've already applied to those cells. So I click on manage rules. Anytime you apply conditional formatting to a cell or a range of cells, you're creating a rule. So I want to manage the rules. There is the rule that I've just created and applied to the current selection, and it's called graded color scale. And I want to edit it. And what I want to do here is change the style from a two color style to a three color style. I'm going to set the highest value to a proper red. It's not a proper red. So I'm going to click on the red there. I'm going to set the midpoint to a light green and I'll leave the lowest value set to white. So you can see the preview is showing us that it's going from white through green and peachy pinky color. I'm not quite sure how to describe that one through to a, a proper red. So when I click OK and OK again, now we have the colors that we want. But I still have got the numbers in the cells and that's very distracting. So I will select the cells again and do what I call the three semicolon trick. And to do that, Again, on the Home tab, go to the Number section, click on the drop down that says General, select More Number Formats, Custom, and into the box where it currently says General, just below the word Type, delete out what's in there and type three semicolons. What it means simply is hide the cell contents and now the contents of the cells are hidden. If you want to see the value in the cell, you can click on a cell and you can see the value, the contents of the cell in the formula bar. But that's it. That is how to create a simple heat map in Excel. Did you find this video useful? If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you'd like to keep up to date with what I'm up to, then why not sign up to my weekly newsletter, which you can do at the Excel Trainer.
www.ghostbusiness.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.